Can you compliment a woman forever? Validate her that much. Unfortunately, she will get bored of your compliments because they're so frequent that they mean nothing. Yeah, so what this that makes means, sense. That, that, that literally makes sense. Like how many times has someone been like, oh yeah, man, you look good. Well, if it doesn't happen that often, you're probably like, oh, well, thank you. But if it happens all the time, you'll turn into one of those girls. Remember in school, they're just like, yeah, I know. I know I'm pretty. I know. Yeah, they turn that way because people tell them all the time. What yeah. you're describing is real, but not for everyone. And if it's happening to you, it's because you're trying to maintain one of these relationships Damn. by giving more of this, which never works. Listen to the whole- Let me see it. Let me see it. Let these me see relationships it. by giving more of- Investment, quality time, support, commitment, emotional bonding, lifestyle- Switch. Never- Lifestyle works. change. Add to get good guy score. Hmm. Friend zone. You're like a brother to me. Damn. For works. Listen to the whole thing. You are not making my life easier or happier. If it is harder to communicate or make plans with you than it is a girlfriend, for example. If you are making me feel at all stressed or unsure or confused. If you are not making me feel like the most beautiful human. But you can make yourself confused. I, I've seen women legitimately confuse themselves. Just ask a woman, hey, what you want? What you want to eat? I don't know. You want tacos? No. You want a hot dog? No. Well, damn, what you want? I don't know. I don't hear no solutions. Or unsure or confused. <laughs> I don't hear any you solutions. You feel like the most beautiful human to walk the earth. Why would I want that? But you're not. So she's saying, make my life happier and easier. Bro, like, you look fine. You look fine. But, like, I've seen some gorgeous women. And they don't wear makeup. They're just naturally beautiful. I'm telling you, I gotta go to see some of these. I gotta go. I gotta leave the country. <laughs> Why would I? You gotta leave that? whatever country you live in. You gotta leave the country. See somebody else. So see she's somebody. saying, make my life happier and easier. Like walking down the street, and I'm going. Wow. <laughs> and he's saying that will make her bored. And that's only true if you are not in this column. What is this? Prince Charming, the man of my dream. Situationship. Good. He's going to pick me one day. Situationship mid. I just don't know what he wants. Bad boy. In he's so what? He's so bad for me. <laughs> this the toxic lovers? Bored. And that's only true if you are not in this column. I like this. I like this love commitment. I like this friend zone. You're like a brother to me. Husband zone. That's my man. Prince Charming, a man of my dreams. Good enough. Damn, good enough. You know what? Some people, y'all need to be just good enough. If y'all are good enough, there it is. Sugar daddy. He makes life easy. Blah zone, not interested. Sorry. Creep zone. Damn. Situation shit bad. I've got to get rid of this guy. Situation shit bad. I don't know what he wants. Um, this is interesting because this is legit. Like, and that's only true if this shit has been studied and he even went and like colored it for you guys. Like the attraction scale, you're a 10 in attractiveness or a zero. Security. This is how much money you have. So, how secure can you make them feel? If you're middle class, you're probably going lower because middle class is getting snuffed out by the uh, by their like they say the rich get richer. That's absolutely true. Uh, a ten on finances and ten of attraction is Prince Charming, the man of my dreams. Or if the attraction not that good, it's like that's my man. Hmm, that's very interesting. So where do you want to be on this scale? Where like personally, I'm asking you guys personally, where would you want to be on this scale? Like, and where are you? Like, it's OK if you're not a 10 and attractive and a 10 and well, OK, you're not Prince Charming. You're not the the, the point one percent. Like, congrats. You're like, duh. <laughs> uh, where would I put hmm, finances? My finances like, bro, my finances went from like right there. I'm like right here. Hmm. Attractiveness. I mean, I have had a woman say I'm the man of their dreams, like actively as well. So I am Prince Charming for some. I'm husband zone for others. I've been situationship good, situationship good. Setting zone, good enough. Hmm. It's good enough. I've had a good enough situation. I don't know if I've been good enough. I've never been sugar daddy. Uh, blah zone. Oh, wait, that, this is just attraction. Oh, well, like when I was little, like, of course, like when you're a teenager, 
Uh, nah, I've never been creep zone. I've never been creep zone. I've been not interested, but it's like, I feel like not interested should be like right here. You could, okay, I'm guessing you can put like not interested somewhere, like anywhere, right? Depending on the person. Huh, this is awesome. I like looking, I'm just like looking at this, bro. Look at this. This thing is awesome. Where can I get a physical copy? <laughs> you are not in this. This is column. dope. I'd give this in to my, my son or daughter. Said that. Oh, that's awesome. If Look at you that. are not in this. Look, he column. even he even got he even got clothes for him. Look at this. Look at him. How attractive. Six, four, 80, 90, 95. Hmm. hmm. How attractive. Bro, what is the cat call? I don't want none of that unless you're attractive. So this is normal girl, normal girl, normal girl. She works out. Normal girl. Princess. I said that. Where I stand with women. 50. Relationship. She smokes. What is this? She's. She's. What is this? She's overweight. She's going for the eight. Mm. Men who have never been above this line outside of the universal not people zone universal not people zone damn so if you're a four and below you're just not damn that sucks to suck the average the average is a six seven seven six five is the average then i'm a motherfucking nine because that ain't me i ain't got no well i do have a suit like that i just don't wear it <laughs> that's funny they tend to think that women are just difficult Women don't like sex as uh, some women can be very difficult as much. And but they some, want some, attention, some, but no, then... some women are like, bro, I know some ladies personally, they're they're so straightforward and they're so simple. Like it automatically, even if attraction and like money to me personally, even if their money is like a, a five, it's like whatever. Personally, I don't like women with money of like a three because that means like they're in debt. And that means that requires me to pay off their debt. And even if I am available to pay off the debt, I'd rather not, right? Because it's not mine. I'd rather stop you from getting in debt personally. But that aside, I've met some legitimate women that have been so honest and straightforward and they match what I am. I am straightforward. You guys know, y'all watch my videos. If I'm saying, man, this song is okay, it's okay. To me, right? If I said this song is good, it's good to me. I listen to music. Sometimes I've cried. I'm like, damn, this song is beautiful. And even if you think the song is mid, I think this song is fucking amazing, right? I've legitimately met, if we were going to number them, like just like based off physical attraction, because you don't know anything about them. I've legitimately met sixes, but they have the financial of a seven. So that means even though you might not look good, Comparatively, you take care of yourself or your finances. You might not even, you might have a dead end job, but the money that you do get, instead of like buying stuff you don't need, like Gucci bags and Balenciagas and all this other shit, instead you put it into like, like a savings account, not even the stock market, just like a savings account. And that automatically shoots you up to like an eight or a nine. Now, if you like to work out with me, like go to the gym, do martial arts. You automatically like go to a 10 and then I'm like, bro, you're mine. <laughs> you're mine. <laughs> they don't like it. Eh, nah, 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 nah. But if you have been above this line, which remember, it's relative. You can break through easier for someone with lower standards. If you have been above this line, you know how not true that is. So you can make up for being less you attractive can. by can. putting in more work. That you works. You Just can. You really can. You really can. That is absolutely true. Absolutely 100 percent true. Literally, like she's a three because she smokes cigarettes. Like, I don't like people that smoke personally. If she's trying to stop smoking, okay, your score goes up because cigarettes and alcohol deteriorate the body. And junk food for this guy, KFC, McDonald's, deteriorates his body, my body, right? For perspective, I got some jiggle jiggle. I got some jiggle jiggle. But when I go to the gym and I start working on abs, you see my abs pop. And it's like, yeah, I work on myself all the time, every day. I might not go to the gym every day. Like, I can't even go outside today if you watch my YouTube. Sure, I can't even go outside. But I have a home workout. It's not a lot, but I still work out because I like working on myself for personal reasons. 
And if I can see that other people work out for their own personal reasons, my respect for them goes up. Like you're trying. Oh, you're an overweight dad, but you're still trying. That's good. Like I remember I read a comment. He, he said he, he's been fat all his life. He got a wife and he has a family and now he's working out. Bro, you know how awesome that is? Like you were always fat and like here you are like I'm going to work out because I want to. Even though you got everything, quote, right? Because a lot of people in fairy tales, they think to everything in life is have money or have a family. When life is whatever you make it. So even though he has a family, which is what a lot of people want. He said, I want to be in shape. And I respect that a lot. Make and a lot of people respect that. Attractive by it's putting true. In more work. That it's works. true. It's just not the way you want it to. It makes her feel more obligated, not more attached. That's fine. Not, like at this point, uh, this video is about women, but I'm telling you from one man to whatever you are, if you work on yourself, you will have more respect for yourself. And when you have more respect for yourself, automatically more people will respect you, even though you don't care about their validation. If you don't believe me, that's okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's not the way you want it to. It makes her feel more obligated, not more attached. If this is how she feels about you, you can give her all the attention in the world and you will not move out of this zone. If you're here, if you're so- If you're good enough for her, and if she's good enough for you, let it ride. But remember what I said, personal development. You're good enough for her. She's good enough for you. What happens when you start working on yourself and you start making yourself better, right? Even if you already work out, like what, what happens if you like, instead of doing weights and getting buff, what if you switched it up and you started doing more cardio and then you started getting the shred, right? Cause you're bulking up, you're pumping up, you're pushing 300. You big bro, you big, you muscular, ah, gains. But you don't do cardio. So yeah, your stroke game is probably fine. You probably pick her up, bro, and do a whole bunch of freaky shit. But you only last 20 minutes. Versus if you start doing some cardio, now you last an hour. An hour, bro. And like you like, damn, this was actually kind of like a workout. And then you start getting more shredded and you get more cut. And next thing you know, instead of lasting 20 minutes like she used to, you go in a whole hour. She's like, damn. And she looking at you like a different because you are you're getting different. You're, you're getting different. And whenever you get different, some people like it, some people don't. So she might be like, I don't like this. He's getting too good for me. Or you might look around and be like, hmm, I could do better if I wanted to. But you're probably content because she's good enough. But that will probably make your partner insecure. Like, why are they getting buff? Why are like we hear? Well, I hear about it personally from my friends where they were they were legitimately in the gym and then they found the gym girl and like the gym girl stopped going to the gym. He's still going to the gym. And like now she's like feeding his ass all the time. And it's like she'll bake 10 cookies. He'll she'll eat one cookie. He'll eat nine cookies. You feel me? And next thing you know, bro's like, oh, I got a good. <laughs> and she's like, yep, perfect. And it's like, yeah, perfect for her because you ain't going nowhere. Somewhere <laughs> in this zone. And you ain't going nowhere. But you probably her. weren't going to go anywhere anyway. That's just human nature. With this, you, she might get icked out a little. That's what this old video was about. Some guy said women hate love. That's, and not, that's true. not true. That's they not true. They hate love that makes them feel obligated, but they want love that makes them feel adored by someone they adore. Ideally, you want both because this by itself, you get polyamory, and this by itself, you get a prisoner. A lot of guys. <laughs> and I think there's nothing wrong with polyamory, personally. As someone that's in a polyamorous relationship, is it perfect? Honestly, so far. <laughs> because, like, like I say, I know what I'm looking for. I know my validation. I know how I feel. If, a, if someone doesn't like me for my lifestyle, it doesn't matter, right? Um, I don't, don't care, right? I don't, I obviously don't live the normal lifestyle, bro. I don't even live in America anymore and I'm a U.S. Army veteran, right? I'm supposed to be like, yeah, land of the free, home of the brave. But when I think about America, I think about not going back, right? So I could give a fuck less what anybody has to say about me and my relationships 
because at least I'm honest with my partners. I'm like, hey, I'm talking to somebody. Hey, this is them. This is their picture. Hey, are you okay with being in this type of relationship? For some people, it's, they're not okay with it. And that's okay. Legitimately, I had to, had to sit down with one of my exes. She wasn't down with me doing my own life. And I said, that's fine. You just can't be with me then. And there it is. And it hurts her and it makes her sad. It makes me sad too. It makes me sad that you can't just accept people for who they are. Like you got all these people in religions can pretend to accept everybody else's religious faith. Yeah, you guys pretend. That's the crazy part. Because if you're supposed to be a Catholic, why are you over here talking about uh, Muslims, this, this and that? In your own book, it says there's there's no other God before me. Right? Because you're trying to be a decent human being. Because that's personally, that's all I care about. People don't understand the difference between humanity and a person. And if you don't understand, I'm not going to be here. I, I have lots of videos explaining humanity and being a human being versus being a person. Because I know what a human is and I know what a person is. Are they the same? Yes. But they are also unique. They're not different. They're unique. Different cultures, different lifestyles, different backgrounds, different principles, different parents, different heritage, different race, different religions, right? But at the end of the day, those are different people, but they're all human, right? You got to eat, you got to shit, you got to fuck. Some people don't got to fuck, but you got to eat, you got to shit, right? That is humanity. Eating and shitting is humanity. Hunting and gathering is humanity. Rapping, basketball, fashion, Instagram, YouTube, VTubers, that's people shit. That's not humanity shit. That's you taking part of your humanity and stretching it to as far as you can to be something unique. When we look at basketball players, it's like they're, they're human, but look at their genetics. Usually the people that are in sports, their parents did type of, some type of sport. It might not be the same sport they're doing now professionally, but they were in sports. And what happens? People in sports date other people in sports. Look at people in relationships in the, in the, in the workplace. Look at the office. You got people, you got 20 people in an office. Guaranteed somebody's fucking somebody in that office or somebody's finding love in that office. You take two office workers, they have a kid. The kid's probably going to grow up, be an office worker. I don't know, or something versus two athletic parents. And it's like, yeah, I played basketball. Your mom was on uh, gymnastics. I have a daughter. Do you want to do gymnastics? No, I'm going to teach you how to shoot a ball. And then, you know, the wife's like, well, I want her to do some gymnastics. And then she takes both of those skills because now she has balance from gymnastics and she has the eye hand coordination from basketball. And now she's like, I want to be something. I don't want to do that. I want to do swim or something. I don't know, because you can flip turn and that involves balance and whatever. Hand-eye coordination freestyle. Humanity versus people. All right, it's my, that's, I'm done preaching. I'm done preaching. <laughs> this by itself. Yeah, you get they call, call it yeah, and I'll be calling it preaching, but I'll be preaching. A lot of guys think about it, Ron, they go, how can I get the hottest possible girl? And you don't want the hottest possible girl, my guy. A lot of guys think about it. You don't want the hottest possible girl. You're a 10, she's a 10. That doesn't mean you guys together are going to be a 20. <laughs> okay, you might be a fucking 15 or you might be a 9. <laughs> Depending. It depends on the situation because we look at... So for these scores, in, uh, 1 through 10, we usually think monetary and attractiveness because those are the two things that we can try and guesstimate with, right? Because it's the most obvious. How do you look versus how much money you have because it's a you know capitalist society, right? We all indulge in capitalism whether we like to or not it's something that we do and i get it capitalism isn't relatively old it's pretty new and we could change it to socialism if we wanted to but not everybody wants to so i get it right but she's a 10 in looks and finances he's a 10 in looks and finances a lot of people don't know these two tens are suffering from something else because when you're a 10 a lot of people want you. Even other tens want you. But what do they want you for? Because when you already have the validation, the looks and the wealth, what are you looking for a partner for? 
I noticed when I started becoming, because I grew up, I always grew up thinking I was like around like a five or six and people would put me down thinking I was a four or a three. But now that I'm older, I realize they were just jealous because if literally I focused and I did what I wanted to, I could have been an eight or a nine. Right. I would never been a 10 because I don't I never had money. Right. But I think the secret to getting like the eight, nine, 10 is money, because when you have money, you have the ability to dress better. Right. Because you could go to the gym, all that. But if you go outside looking like a gym bro, cool. You go outside and you're a gym bro, but you got a suit and a tie on and suits and ties are expensive. Not only do you have something that makes you look good, but when you take it off, you still look good. That is a 10. Now, what happens when these two people are both 10s? There's still the, the brain. There's still emotions and all this other shit. So, yeah, they look like a 10. Their finances are a 10. But in their mind, they're really like a 6. Because all they have thought about is, I'm a 6. I want to get better. And they get to a 10. And they think that that 10 ain't shit. And then they spiral out. And they go like crazy. We've seen it. We've seen Kanye West. Kanye West did it. He was a 10. Like, bro, you're, you're famous. You're relatively attractive and you're rich. But you crazy. So you're like, you're going down, bro. Like, but even though he's always, he's rich, he's a billionaire, right? Well, it was a billionaire. He'll always be like in the 9, 10 range because of how much wealth he has and because of how much influence he has. He'll never go to a six, even though his mind is like a fucking four. <laughs> it wrong they go how can i get the hottest possible it's crazy. girl like, and step one is to max out your looks but after you've done that you should gym. just be looking for someone and then look for someone this way about yeah. you yeah life above this line is different it it's is the same it thing is yes somebody yes 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 it's on paper bro it's literally on paper yes life at a certain point is different it is and unless you get up here Unless you join me, you will never know. <laughs> I can sit here and yap and preach and all you can do is just say, I don't believe it. <laughs> it's okay. It feels this way about It's okay. You. It's Life okay. above this line is different. It's, it's the okay. same thing it I is. tell women. Figure out who thinks you're great and then figure out the ones you like best. And then you don't yes! have to play stupid games like how often can I compliment my girlfriend before she finds it disgusting. That's a weird game to play. I just let my women know they're beautiful whenever I look at them and I'm like, wow, you're beautiful. Because then it actually means it when I say it versus uh, they don't do their hair. They just woke up and I'm like, you're beautiful. And it's like, they might be. Some women naturally wake up beautiful. But some women wake up and they're like, oh. How often can I compliment my girlfriend before she finds it disgusting? If you are in here, this works every time. Nobody wants to go with it. I love this video. Standards, but your choice is really oh, hard. Oh, this video is dumb. This is literally a two minute video, bro. Who <laughs> likes you or constantly be making up for it. People say my charts are too complicated. No, they're not. They're really not. They're complicated if you look at it like this. <laughs> yeah, but if you actually look at this shit and you actually look, it's separated. Look, he has double lines here to let you know this is this part and then this is this part. And then this part goes here and then he has an attraction scale again. Why would you look at this attraction scale and then look at this one? This is not complicated. You're just not pausing the video. If you pause the video and you start just reading random parts of it and then you can put it together, bro. It's like a puzzle. Is this a big, this is a big ass puzzle of multiple puzzles of multiple puzzles. And that's called life. This is the life chart. There's really more of the attraction and security and financial chart and how to get a relationship and how to, that's just this page of the chart. Cause he has another part of the, of the chart that talks about like how you feel and shit. <laughs> That's not true. All they say is find someone who likes you and treat her well, but you guys can't figure out how to do that, so I'm giving you all the details. Ah! It's true. It's true, bro. It's true. All you gotta do is be nice to people. And like, I know I come across 
arrogant or whatever the fuck online in person i'm not the same of course on here it's like whatever because you know i got people that watch me and i usually i'm usually when i'm making these videos bro i'm usually talking to them but then sometimes i gotta talk to a broader audience that might have just walked in right so yeah whenever you walk in and i'm mid rant talking about fuck you fuck you you're a bitch like, yeah, you're going to think some type of way of me, but you don't watch my content, nor do I care for you to watch it to indulge and try and figure out what type of person I am, because it doesn't matter to me. Your opinion is irrelevant. The only people I care about are the people that care about me. And it's always been that way. I just am able to say it out loud because, like I said, I don't care. I care about people that care about me. If you don't care about me, then fuck you. <laughs> You see, and I and I just have to I and this crazy part is, bro, if you've been watching me for a long time, you're probably tired of hearing me say it. But it's like I have the 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 feeling to let you know, because at the same time, I am a nice person. I am strict, but I am fair. I give people multiple chances to fix their fuck ups. And even if they fuck up again, I say, hey, this is where you messed up. Can you do it better next time? If you blow me off. All right. Well, bye. You're out the group. It's just like that. Members only, right? Join the members only. Link in the link in the description. Join the members. Shout out to all my members that rejoin. Y'all the best. I don't say it enough. I need to start praising the members because my members, bro. Shout out to the members. We're gonna do a shout out to the members, bro. That's what we're gonna do. Mid this awesome video of random people just walking in and watching this video. I'm gonna praise my members. Uh, I'll continue the video. Some though. of you should be trying to date fours. They're not that bad. They're I not. Would way rather be. They're not. They're not. I'm telling you, bro. Love I, look, and I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna sound weird or whatever, but like I said, I don't care. I personally, as someone with enough wealth and experience in weightlifting and martial arts and psychology and a whole bunch of shit, I will take a four if she already has a good head and I will turn them into an eight. But it's up to them to make themselves a nine or a 10. And if they decide to go from an eight to springboard off of me into something better, then that's fine. I don't expect any of my partners to stick with me forever. If they choose to stick with me forever, that's a blessing. But for me as their partner to require them to stay is fucking toxic. If you're in a toxic relationship and your ex or your current girlfriend or boyfriend doesn't want to leave because they don't want to be alone, you are a hostage. You are not in a relationship, bro. You are in a hostage, You're especially if you live with them. If you live with them and like you literally depend on them and they're a piece of shit, you are a slave, a modern day slave. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't. All right, let me see. Where's the members at? Where are the members? Shout out to my members right here. Shout out to the members, bro. Y'all can join the membership. Uh, we got 37 members, bro. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the ones that stayed. Shout out to the ones we gained. I don't really care about these numbers. I just care about people being here, bro. Midnight Amethyst, you're a VOD watcher. Four days ago, appreciate it. I like your profile pic, nice eyes, nice green hair. Nims, vile washer, bro. Shout out to you, bro. You got the the Punisher skull. Uh, I think this is just a real person. That's a vile watcher. Shout out to you because if you ain't got a pro, bro. If you're being a member and you don't got a profile picture, that means you're probably like legit a real person just on the internet. <laughs> and shout out to you. Shout out to all these members, man. You guys are awesome. So I'll explain the memberships real quick if anybody wants to join. Um, so we had a thing called Juan D's. Juan D's was either you're perfect or you're not me. <laughs> That's the attitude you need to have when you're online. Either you're perfect or you're not me. But you got to remember on the internet, it's okay to have that personality. In real life, might be a little delusional, but who isn't? But yeah, membership levels, boom. Where is this? Where is this? Where is Juan D? So this is for whenever I did music. I don't really do it enough anymore, but whenever I did do music, it got copyrighted. So I would take the original video that has copyright and I would make it for members only 99 cents a month. Um, I don't really do it anymore. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get back into it, but we'll see. Um, no refunds. Bob watchers, every time I do a stream, 
Um, and like, it's a VOD. I just upload it for VOD, VOD watchers only. It's not for the public, it's for VOD watchers only. The foundation, these are the people that helped me in the beginning, uh, 499, appreciate everybody. Like early access, new videos, like boom, there it is. And video request priority. If you got a video you want me to check out and you're part of the foundation, bro, you should message me, be like, hey, can you watch this video? I am a member, I am part of the foundation and I will literally put your video higher in the queue. But nobody's telling me they're part of the foundation. Nobody tells me, no one's like, it's a secret code, bro. And I'm over here letting everybody know the secret sauce. I'll be checking these, by the way. I don't wanna hear like, I'm part of the foundation. I need to check, I will check. And here's the chats, like, bro, if you if you giving me $25 a month, bro, whatever video you want me to react to, I react to it damn near on the spot, depending on what it is. That's just how it works. Like, that's just how, because I like doing this for fun. But like, now that you guys have given, like, joined the membership, because I opened the membership thinking only a couple people would join. But then like 30 people joined at one point, we had 40 people in. And I was like, damn, okay, well, I feel like I should actually do something for these people. <laughs> so that's just me being a good guy. Like I wanted to I wanted to help you guys. But yeah, shout out to you guys. The channel is slightly higher. Appreciate it. You guys are the best. Namaste, all that good stuff. But yeah, remember. Rather be loved. You can find the person of your dreams if you try. But let's by a this. four than tolerated by a nine. Give it a shot. Love by a four versus tolerated by a nine. Hmm. Yeah, man. That's awesome. That's a, that's a good way to end the video. All right, I'm out. Be safe.